press die components. For detail please visit my YouTube channel and please subscribe. Die plates. Also known as die shoes and die sets, die plates serve as the foundation for where other die tools and components are mounted. They hold many of the other components on this list punches, buttons, springs in place. Die guide pins and bushings. Die guide pins work in conjunction with guide bushings to align the upper and lower die plates with accuracy. There are two main types of die guide pins, friction pins and ball bearing pins. Straight guide pins are a tad smaller than their complementary bushings in a diameter. Ball bearing guide pins glide on a sequence of ball bearings within an aluminium ball cage. Die punches. Die punches are the tools that actually press into the metal sheet and transform it. They're fixed within the die retainer. They can either bend or punch a hole through the metal, depending on their shape. Die buttons. Die buttons are die punches counterparts. They provide the opposite cutting edge in which die punches are inserted. To mirror the die punches, Die buttons are also available in a number of styles, shapes, and tolerances. Die springs. Die springs are helical, high force compression springs. They provide the amount of force needed to hold metal sheets in place while they're being transformed by the die. Die retainers. Die retainers are placed on die plates to hold cutting and forming die components in place. Ball lock, shoulder, trumpet head, retractable. Custom die details. All of the die components above can be customized for your application. They can be machined to meet perspex shapes, sizes, etc. Stripper. It is a plate which is used to strip the metal strip from cutting a non-cutting punch or die. For detail please visit my YouTube channel and please subscribe. For detail please visit my YouTube 